Yeah, it's it's crazy the the doors that open, you know, when you're in this industry because you know the people that get it, you like, you know, they get it. And you know, Dubai, I didn't know that about the, you know, the cost of living. I definitely would have thought, you know, it would have been a very expensive trip to go there, but I guess maybe they're just trying to incentivize uh young professionals and entrepreneurs to go there, you know, because it seems like they are, you know, I don't know everything about Dubai economic policy, but it seems like they're doing something right. And for sure, they are kind of becoming the, the de facto crypto hub of the world. And as an American, <laughs> it's very, very frustrating when you see, you know, what our yeah. administration's doing. And yeah. it's like, you know, it doesn't matter what we do here, you know, Dubai and, you know, all these other nations are going to roll out the red carpet. It's going to get embraced and we're just going to be left behind. But, um, What's what's Ireland? What, what's kind of uh, their stance on crypto? Is it pretty open? Is it pretty? They're kind of following, you know, other countries, and it's not it's not the correct way to do it. They're kind of waiting to see, you know, what what other countries do bad and what other countries do good in. And um, I, I suppose it's more like a safety thing. Yeah, that it's a good idea that way. But but for people that are within crypto, it's an awful place to be in you know um because mm. you want to be you're obviously going to compare yourself to these tax-free countries that you are not in and you wonder why not you know um but mm. there's more and more countries that are actually becoming uh, crypto tax-free because they want tourism there they want to boost mm. their own economy and it's such a wise decision um, I think a lot of more, a, a lot of more uh, government should be like facilitating that for, for, for it because it's it's just gonna get bigger and bigger, you know. Um, but, like I travel a lot, and one big thing that I noticed that Dubai did very well is they welcome you in the right way. When you go to the airport, they hand you a, a travel SIM card. I've never mm -hmm. had that happen before, but that's such a lovely welcoming gift that you get for free and uh straight away then you you know you have no problems you, you feel safe you know as soon mm -hmm. as you get into the country that's a big thing as a reason as to why people stay in a country if they feel safe you know if if you get mugged on the side of the road you might never <laughs> want to go back there you know so safety <laughs> is a huge thing especially for those in crypto so dubai is a is a hugely safe country yeah it's it's interesting you know and like maybe you know obviously i'm biased but maybe people you know would think otherwise that if you notice the countries that adopt crypto say like el salvador they've had like no murders uh, yeah. Miami, very safe place. You know, now you're, you know, Dubai, you know, you, you, you went there as a, as a, a young, attractive female by, you went by yourself. No, I actually, I brought my mom with me, but two oh, women, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So you see what I'm saying that like these places and maybe there's no correlation that are real crypto friendly, real crypto. It's like this type of person that's open-minded kind of person, this freedom minded person and um that's really cool you know that y'all would be safe and i hope this model is emulated now what i think is happening is that it's not that i'm not going to target specific countries it's not that they don't see the value proposition or the good of crypto they don't they just don't want it for other reasons you know for you know for for control for control reasons for a laundry list every country is going to be a little different but um i did notice you know something me and you were talking about and this popped up you know because you know elon musk has been in the news with uh his, his recent takes on telling uh <laughs> telling all his advertisers to to go f off and then he was check out this uh me and you were talking about this earlier so yeah. the irish government hates free speech and then elon musk chimed in suppression of the irish people is the real crime so you know i was so <laughs> shocked with that comment like that is huge like mm -hmm. that that's hugely offensive to the irish government but a lot of irish people are backing up elon musk obviously because they love his platform and they love like the freedom of free speech you know and mm -hmm. um I, I i was definitely like i had to look more into that when i when i first seen it um like it, it is all over the news like i don't know do you get like news about like all of this in your your traditional like news in america or is this something that you would only see like on twitter 
No, um, definitely not on like traditional, like mainstream media. You know, our mainstream media, it, it's almost like unwatchable at this point. Um, a lot of propaganda, a lot of, um, it's just certain narratives they push other stuff they stay away from, you know, I hate to say it, but like this idea of like, you know, an independent journalist, it just kind of feels like it's dead, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, so no, I only saw this basically, you're right on Twitter and that's, what's even more interesting. It's like, you know, without Twitter, like what would the world look like right now? You know, the, the amount of. You know, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of fake news on Twitter as well, but you know, stuff like this. And then uh, you and I were talking about the. They're saying that Conor McGregor, I mean, and he's in trouble in Ireland as well. And now he's talking about maybe running for president or something. So yeah, this isn't stuff you're gonna see on American news. That's for sure. No, absolutely. And I feel like, like I, I, I like I actually feel sorry for you, Kev, living in the states as well, because I think mm. a lot, like <clears throat> you yourself, might think like it's just the states that is you know going down under like it's it's like all the bad things are happening but mm -hmm. like even right now there was uh, only a couple of days ago there was riots in dublin and like it's not very common for irish people to protest um mm -hmm. as as in comparison to like france or something like this you know mm -hmm. um we and if we do protest it's very small numbers it's not in its hundreds or thousands so to hear something as big as a, a riot happening uh where there was like looting involved and all of this it's mm -hmm. a huge deal it's literally never happened before in like my my years 